Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to go over arranging objects and keyboard shortcuts related to these actions. In a previous episode we went over navigation and selecting layers and here are the shortcuts that we will go over today. So let's, let's go over these one by one and let's try a few examples. Aligning. Aligning essentially means taking two or more objects and then making sure they are arranged in some specific way. So for example, if you select these two ellipses and then you align them to the left, so I'm gonna press Option or Alt A, you can see that their left edges are now in the same place. So uh, it doesn't matter how large these objects are, if you select them and then align to the left, this is the area, this is the side that will be key for arranging these objects. So um, then we have a line to the right. So whenever you select multiple objects and press option D, you will align them to the right side of, uh, of the selection, right? Always pay attention to what are the edges of the overall bounding box uh, of the objects that you have selected. In this case, you can see it's this big square that contains all of the objects that we have selected. We could, for example, create another one, put it right here. In that case, our bounding box increases in size. So whenever I'm aligning to the right or left, uh, Figma is going to consider what are the right, the left edges of the bounding box and then position the objects within that selection based on that. So let's see option D. Then let's try again option A. So I'm selecting again option A. We'll align them to the left side and then the same with top. So let me align these to the top. Select all these. Option W. And finally aligning to the bottom option S. So that is how you align objects, right? It's especially useful when you combine these with um, with the keyboard shortcuts that we have discussed in the previous episode. So let me just pull these up. These are the shortcuts we have discussed in the previous episode. So when I, for example, let's say I'm gonna group these, Command G, we'll go over these shortcuts um, later in the video, but let's say I'm gonna press Shift 1 to see all the objects on our canvas, then I'm just gonna select all of these and press Tab until I get to the group that I want to adjust, and then I press Enter, and then I use these shortcuts to align them to the right or to the left or top or bottom, right? So using using align shortcuts in combination with these shortcuts we have discussed in the previous episode is really efficient and easy to use. When you take a look at these four shortcuts or actually these five shortcuts and then these two, you can find all of these over here. So that's basically an alternative for these icons, right? You can see right here, right? So um, you can see that when I hover over the align left, I get a shortcut option A and so on, right? So I get the tidy up, distribute vertical spacing, distribute horizontal spacing. So basically all of these shortcuts are reflecting what you can find here. We also have, of course, centering horizontally. So when I select these ellipses and then press command, or sorry, when I press option H, you can see that they are being centered along the the vertical center axis of the bounding box, right? So imagine a line going through the middle of this group right here. And then when you press uh, option H, they are essentially aligned around this line. So that's centering horizontally. You can of course also center vertically. That would be option V. And there is a mistake here, let me correct that. So center vertically should of course be option V. Right, so we have H and V for centering horizontally and vertically. Let me try. So again, I select all of these ellipses, then imagine a line going through the middle of this bounding box, and that would be a horizontal line. And then when I press option V, they are all being centered along that imaginary line, like this, right? Then we also have the tidy up feature and I'm going to demonstrate that by creating a couple of new ellipses over here. So let me just create a bunch of them. So here, here we have a bunch of ellipses. 
and we're gonna select all of them and then we're gonna press Control Option T and I believe that would be Control Alt T on Windows. So let me press Control Option T. And what you can see happening right now is they are being tidied up to a grid. So let me do that again. I have a bunch of unorganized ellipses, a bunch of unorganized objects, and then I press Control Option T and they are being arranged in this specific way. So that's very useful when you want to, um, well, tidy up a lot of objects when you want to organize a lot of items in a grid. Um, you can also see that over here in the design panel we get these two controls. That is horizontal and vertical spacing where I can just put in a custom value, let's say 50 points and 50 points here as well and you can see they are being neatly arranged to a grid where the spacing is 50 everywhere right so that is very useful that would be control option t for tidying up let me actually create two more shortcuts because they are also important so that would be these two would be distribute horizontal spacing and distribute vertical spacing so control option v and control option h they are all belong to this group of control option and then a letter so we went over tidying up then when we get to distribute horizontal spacing, let me demonstrate that. So that's control option. Uh, let's go for vertical first, V. You can see that they look disorganized, but actually the distances uh, between these individual ellipses when it comes to their vertical spacing, right, is 31 pixels, right? 31 here, 31 here. So that's what it means to distribute vertical spacing. Of course, if, it, if we distribute um, horizontal spacing, we can do the same. Uh, control Option H and then the horizontal spacing is going to be distributed evenly. But in this case, actually, because they are so close together, the horizontal spacing is actually negative, right? So it is negative. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that's going to be minus 53 pixels, right? So minus 53 pixels. Uh, when we move one of these ellipses over here and then do that again. So let me select these. Control Option H. Uh, I think now it should become positive, right? Well, actually it looks to be precisely zero. So let me move it a bit further. Then select all of these. Control Option H. Now it should be positive. Right now you can see it is, it seems to be 19 pixels from, from each one in terms of horizontal spacing. So that's what distribute horizontal spacing and distribute vertical spacing, what it does. For example, if we wanted to, if we again had a bunch of disorganized objects, let's say we had like um, these seven ellipses and we wanted to um, put all of them in a straight line in a straight vertical line. How could we achieve that? Well, first of all, what we're going to do is select all of these, then I'm going to align them to the left. So option A, right? And then I'm going to go to tidy up. So that would be command, uh, sorry, control option T. And you can see that we put all of them into a straight line. And we get again this control over here where we can adjust spacing between these ellipses and get any result that we would like. So using these shortcuts is very fast when you want to organize items in some specific way very quickly. Then there is of course a grouping selection. So when I select all of these individual ellipses, I can press Command G to create a new group and I will call this group straight vertical line. And uh, now this group called straight vertical line is gonna consist of a bunch of ellipses, right? So that's what uh, grouping does. I think you're familiar with grouping. I can also ungroup or unframe selection. So let me press command shift G that will, will again remove our group and, and reinstate ellipses as separate again. Of course, an even faster way would be actually to add them to an auto layout, which is the last shortcut we're going to go over. So let me let me revert these changes. Add auto layout when I select all of these and then press Shift A. You can see that that's the fastest way to actually arrange them in line. So 
Auto layout is basically an advanced mode of doing all these uh, arrangements. It's like the most sophisticated uh, form of arranging objects. So if you'd like to learn more about auto layout, definitely go and check out a couple of videos on my channel that I have. I believe that I have two videos dedicated to auto layout. So make sure to check them out if you're interested in this. And uh, of course, with auto layout, you, you get all these custom uh, settings like background fill, right? You get uh, custom spacing, you get padding, horizontal and vertical, you get a change of direction, all that good stuff. So it's essentially all of this, but more advanced and uh, within one feature. So uh, if you'd like to learn more about this, super useful and essential for UI design, definitely go check out my videos on all layout. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go over these again. Um, let's summarize a little bit. What we have here are a couple of shortcuts for arranging objects. We get the align left, we get the align right, we get align top and align bottom, right? Option A, D, W and S. Then we also get a tidy up feature that arranges objects to a grid. Then we have a distribute horizontal spacing and then we have distribute vertical spacing. We can also group our objects to add them to a group right here. We can ungroup them, right? So that would be command G and command shift G. And we can also center these objects horizontally and we can also center these objects vertically. So that is a bunch of shortcuts for arranging objects. And in the next episode of keyboard shortcuts, we're going to go over layer adjustments. So that would be working with fill, working with stroke, layer styles, creating frames, renaming, cropping, flattening selections, all that stuff. So if you'd like to learn more about keyboard shortcuts and become a more efficient designer in Figma, definitely subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss next episode on keyboard shortcuts. Also, of course, if you go over here to the question mark, help and resources, you can select keyboard shortcuts and you essentially get all this list of shortcuts in Figma. So I definitely recommend going here and checking these out. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a like if this video helped you and I will see you in the next episode of Keyboard Shortcuts. See you later.